Hold on, hold on, David. Slow down. Let me get side rack uh, three and seventeen. Uh, go ahead, David. Side so yeah. rack chapter three and seventeen to twenty. Bring it out. My son, go on with thy business in that meekness. Right with what? Go my son, go on with my thy business in meekness. Right. So shall be. Be loved. Be loved. For him that is approved. Approved, right? Read. Greater than thou art. The greater thou art, read. The more humble thyself. The more humble thyself, read. And thou shalt find favor before the Lord. Right, that's that's the uh, that is that is the topic that we about to talk about. Uh, humbleness. It says, the greater thou art, the more humble thou become. So, you know, the question is, is do you want to be great? And what you see right now is, uh, you know, the way to greatness is being taken the wrong way. You know, I, I always said, and, and it's true, man, up is down and down is up. You know, so the way to greatness is through hum humility. It's not through lifting yourself up, making yourself a name. It's becoming humble. And, and it's crazy, because check this out. I was doing my research on humble, right? So when you look up humble in the blue letter in the Hebrew, right? Check out what it uh what the word for humble is, right? Uh let me see. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Oh no. Come on, be quiet. Exodus, I believe ten. And three. Come. <laughs> uh, humble. This is the Hebrew word for humble. Listen. Strong's H six thousand thirty one. Uh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So nobody wanna humble themselves. When you talk about, as soon as you start talking about humility, and that, that's, that's, that's us as a people. Now we can talk about all these high things. We can talk about, you know, being a leader and, and, and ruling over this person and ruling over. But when you talk about humbleness, people go the other way. They say, oh no, oh no, he's talking about humility. Oh no, I ain't, you know, he didn't click off of that. But this is the way to the kingdom, right? So give me, uh, give me Luke, give me Luke 16 and 15. Why? Right? Because uh, even, even 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 Esau, even the white man know like the when y'all look at these skyscrapers that you see downtown, when you look when you look and see a building built up high, you, they gotta build that thing, they gotta take that thing down in, in the dirt. And that's 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 what it is when you come into the truth. You gotta be rooted. You gotta man, you gotta dig down, man. You gotta be humble. You gotta you gotta uh be a base. Right, so give me uh, Luke 16 and 15. Luke 16 and 15. One at, a, one at a time. Luke 16 and 15. Be in order. Bring it up. And he said unto him, unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men. Right. But knowing your hearts for that which is highly esteemed among men. That which is highly esteemed among men. So we're talking about building the right way. What you see ain't really, a lot of times what you see ain't the right way. You might see all these things be esteemed by man, by man, you might think that's the way because everybody is doing it. But what, read. It's an abomination in the sight of the Lord. It's the wrong way. It be the wrong way just because everybody doing the thing don't make it right. And those things that's esteemed a man, that's exalted and, and look good and sound good, that stuff being an abomination to the most high. So you gotta, if you're gonna run this race, you gotta run it the right way. So give me uh, 1 Samuel 16 and 7. Why, right, and even when you look at a, a tree, you know them big, you, you might look at a, a, a big, beautiful tree at the park, and it, it is just beautiful. It's an old, a old tree too. You know how far the roots of that tree is in the dirt? And that's how you, if you're gonna be a great tree in this truth. You gotta be rooted, man. I mean, you gotta go down in the dirt. You gotta get down in the soil, man. You gotta be a base. You gotta go down before you can come up, man. That's what it is. Give me uh, 
Uh, First Samuel 16 and 7. Bring, bring it out. First Samuel chapter 16 and verse 7. Read. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance. Right. Or on the height of his stature. Right. Because I have refused him. Right. And a lot of things look good. And you have to be careful because a lot of things look like it's it. But you can't see with your physical eyes. You got to see through the spirit, man. Stop looking at people's appearance. I look at him, man. He got a matri. Man, he got he got a he got a garment. Man, he got all that's all that. You know, the Lord said, I rejected him. Mm -hmm. I didn't even choose him. He chose himself. He lifted up himself. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even choose him. Mm -hmm. The Bible said they ran and I didn't send them. I didn't send them, but they ran. Mm -hmm. So keep reading that. For the Lord seeth not a man's what a man seeth. For the for man looketh outward appearance. Right. But the Lord looketh on the heart. The Lord look at the spirit, man. Come he look on. at the mind. So the way man build and the way the most high is building is two different things. And I'm gonna show you that. And a lot of people going a lot of people it is uh they falling off because they looking at the way how man build and, and it looks glory. And they and they trying to copy that. But the Lord is not, the Lord is the only one that's gonna be exalted. Give me that in Isaiah uh I believe 57 and 15. Give me Isaiah 57 and 15, y'all Isaiah 57 and 15, what? I believe. Isaiah 15 and yeah. what? 57 and 15. Okay. Isaiah 57 and verse 15. 15. Come. For thus saith the high and lofty one. Right, there's only one that's uplifted and lofty. That's the most high. Read. That inhabited eternity. Right, so why is man prideful? Can you inhabit eternity? No. You know where it exists? No. You know where the sun rests? No. You know where the moon go when you don't, when you don't see it? Mm -hmm. You know where the wind went? Mm -hmm. You can't even determine your next action, you know what I mean? A man don't even know his own way. Why is man prideful? Why is man exalting himself? It's only one that's high and lofty, and you got to get that in your mind, mm -hmm. in your heart, man. Read. Whose name is holy, uh -huh. I dwell in the high and holy place. Right. With him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit. And what? To revive the spirit. So you got to have a contrite and humble spirit. The most high, he, he's close to the meek, to the uh -huh. lowly in heart. He's close to the humble. He rejected the proud. What, you, what the hell you got to be proudful for? And I, man, in this truth, I done seen a lot of pride, prideful niggas, man. A lot of prideful niggas. When you, when you, the more you walk into the street, truth, you're gonna understand. It, it's, it's, it's a whole bunch of niggas that just that want to be better than the next nigga. I mean, so lock in my words, but they just niggas. They not brothers. You gonna encounter a lot of niggas in this thing, right? Uh, I encounter some brothers. You got, you gonna face, you gonna see some brothers that they just can't wait to say another brother off because they heard it. They heard it and it sound, oh, that brother off. And they looked at it right. and was they was waiting for the moment to say it. Oh, that brother off because the feeling that you get when you feel like, you know, that now you can put another brother down. You can live off. Oh, yeah, 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 y'all off. Y'all off. No, man. No, we got to be humble in this thing, man. I have a precept. So, uh, we not, we going to wait on pre Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, I got sign right, 7 and 10. Bring it up. Says, be not faint hearted when thou makest thy prayers and neglect not to give alms. Uh, verse, verse 11, laugh no man to scorn in the bitterness of his soul, for there is one which humbleth and exalteth. Right, there's only one. So give me Matthew uh, 18 and 3. We're going to get into this. Give me that, you hear? Uh, Grace, give me uh, Proverbs 29 and 1. Judah. Give me Mark 4 and 17. Uh, David, I need Psalms 119 and 165. Matthew 18 and 3. Bring it up. And said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Right, we got a, a children are very humble. You know what I'm saying? Children can take correction. Children, like, it, even when you, when you whoop a child, they'll come right back. And they'll hug you, they'll forgive you. But old niggas won't, man. They're prideful, man. Uh, old nigga never forgive you. They'll take you to the grave, man. 
So we can't be we can't be stiff neck and hard at heart. We gotta actually become like children in our mind, innocent, innocent and pure. Those things are not none of those things are prideful. All those things are humble, man. Uh, give me Proverbs twenty nine and one. Proverbs twenty nine and one. Bring it up. He that being often reproved hardened his neck. Right. He that often being reproved hardened his neck. Pride. Not that's the opposite of being a child. So you got to be able to take correction in this thing over and over and over because that's how stiff neck and hard head we are as a people. We always need to be corrected. And you're not going to take correction if you're prideful, man. And no man is above correction. Um. You got some prideful ass niggas that you can't tell nothing. No man is above correction. Nobody. Give me a, uh, give me Mark. 4 and 17, who had that? I did. Bring it out. Mark 4 and 17. And have no root in themselves. Right. And so endure but for a time. So you got to, in this truth, man, if you don't take root, a lot of people, they want to just come into this truth and just go up straight to the top. No, man, when you come into this truth, you got a lot of things that's in your cup. People, our people, they only want to pour out Christianity. Yeah, the Lord said, empty out the cup. Right, they only want to pour out Christianity. You only want to pour out Islam. You only want to pour out religions, but what about pride? You kept that in the cup. What about lust? You kept that, in, it's in the bottom of the cup. You can see it. What about all these things that you didn't pour out? Mm -hmm. So you got no root, man. You didn't go down and, and get the, you didn't get rooted in. Right, you didn't work on yourself. You just, you just came into this thing, okay. Christianity is, Christianity is a lie. Islam is a, a, a lie. Hey, Esau, you're going to hell. You're going to slavery. No, that's that's not what this truth is about. It's about working on you. Because we wicked. We was the wicked ones. What, what good are you if you're not working on your vessel, man? You're not purifying yourself, man. Forget about all that, that other stuff. Purify yourself. And that takes humility because you got to look yourself in the mirror and say, look, man. I, I, I need work. That's why we all in this truth. Not because we was perfect. Not because we was all this and we was all that. We need a savior. We need to be saved. And that's what, that's what it's really about. He said we're going to be purifying, purifying ourselves into that coming day. That's what this truth is about. You bettering yourself, man. And being an example that somebody can see your life and say, yeah, man, I, I, I need to work on me too. You know, I want to get on that type of level. You know, so give me... Give me, give me that again, Judah. Mark 4 and 17. Bring it out. And have no root right? in themselves. And so endure, but for a time afterward. Uh-huh. When affliction or persecution ariseth for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. That pride rise up. A lot of people can't go through much. Offense is coming. Don't nobody go through damn trials and hell like a new Hebrew Israelite coming to this truth, trying to keep commandments. But guess what? You're still dealing with pride. So if you don't check that pride, man, when the word, when offense and persecution come for the word's sake, hey, that pride gonna lift up. You know what? I ain't got. I'm, I'm gonna prove a point, man. I ain't gotta take take this shit. No, but give me that, uh, uh, David, Psalms, uh, one nineteen and one sixty five. Psalms one nineteen and one sixty five. Bring it out. Psalms one nineteen and one sixty five. Y'all should give me Luke nine and twenty six. Bring it out, David. 65. Read. Thou hast the will in thy servant, O Lord. That's not 119 and 165. 165. 165. Oh, yeah. That'll be my word. 165. 119 and 165. Okay. Great peace has they which would in thy law. Right. And nothing shall offend them. Right it says, great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Meaning what? Nothing going to come between you and the truth. You know, you got some people, they're going to let pride come between them and you have a shot them making it to the kingdom. But it says, great peace have they that love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Man, ain't nothing. Hey, look, man. Who am I? Say, say what you, hey, look, I'm on a mission. I don't care what you say. You got brothers that's like, man, you, you should care about what people, no man, look, anybody that tell you you should care about what people think, lie to you. I don't care who it is. 
lied to you. Because one day somebody going to think about this, about you. The next day people going to think about the people change. Just like the wind. Give me, uh, give me Matthew 11 and 18. Don't give a damn about what nobody got to say about you. Why? Because you're, you got a reputation to withhold? Matthew. Matthew 11 and 18. Bring it out. For John came neither eating nor drinking. Right, so John was an upright and holy man. He came neither eating nor drinking. Read. They say he had the devil. He, they didn't give a damn. He could have been like, look, man, I, I'm, I, I'm not eating meat. You know what I'm saying? I'm fasting. I'm keeping the life of a, of a Nazarene. And y'all, he didn't give a damn, man. Read. The son of man came in eating and drinking. And they say, behold, gluttony, a man gluttonous and a wine bibber. So you can't please people. So if you might as well don't give a damn what nobody thinks. Man, we here to do one job. No matter what, that's the mission not going to change. No matter what nobody say or think or do, don't give a damn what about nobody say. Our forefathers did. Yahweh Shah didn't care what you had to say about him. I mean, he asked what was being said, but he didn't care. So he committed himself to no man. Right, because he knew all men, right? Uh, where we going now? Uh, Did you want me, Luke? Yeah, give me Luke. Give Luke. me Luke 9 and 26. Luke 9 and 26. For whosoever shall be ashamed of me. Right. How can you be ashamed of Yahweh Shah, your pride? You care about what people think. Hey, one of the most humbling things to do is to stand out there on them highways and hedges. And look, you can feel the energy of people walking by. You can feel them judging you. You can see them looks. They looking down on look at these niggas, man. Your own people. Esau. Hey, yo, you got on garments. You got on fringes. You got this Bible. You know what I'm saying? Give, give me that again. For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, right. of him shall the son of man be ashamed. Right, so it's a humble thing in this truth, man. It's a humble, and it's a lot of pride, and it's a lot of humbleness. And you got to choose, you got to choose sides. Give me a... Uh, I had a precept. Give me that. Give me your precept, right? Because what it is, when we come into this truth, we got to understand the thing. What do we have before we come into this truth? We had lies. We had pride. We built a life. We built a whole foundation based off lies, man. So the most high gotta come in and, and break up that foundation. And when you it's an uncomfortable position to understand, like when you come to the point that like you built your whole life off nothing. Now you broke down to a, a place where it, it can get uncomfortable, man. You can wanna pick yourself, pick your pick your reputation back up. You can want to make a name for yourself, become someone. It's, it's, it's tough being a nobody. It's tough making yourself low. But that's where the most I want you, man. Bring out your precept. Um, I got Deuteronomy 32, 10, uh, 12 to 13. It says, give me, give me Revelation 3 and 18. Okay. He found him in a desert land, in a waste, howling wilderness. And he led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. So the Lord alone did lead him and there was no strange God with him. He made him ride on high places of the earth that he might eat the increases of the fields. And he made him suck honey out of a rock and oil and out of Fenty rock. So it's the most high that's gonna set you up and exalt you only. Come. You Come. can't set yourself up. Come on, we gonna show that through the precepts. It's, it's when you go through the precepts and find out how the most high do it, because like I told you, it's a way that you can run this race the wrong way. And you can run this race the right way. What we gotta learn is how to run this race, man. You gotta run according to the rules in order to receive the prize. And everybody is not doing that. But there's a wide road in this truth, believe it or not. There's a wide road in this truth, man. Give me that, give me Judges uh, 7 and 4 real quick. Let me show you something. Then Judah, give me uh, give me Revelation three and eight. Give me Judges seven and four, Yasha. Judges chapter seven verse four. And the Lord said unto Gideon, the people are yet too many. They are what? Yet too many. It's a whole lot of Israelites, man. It's a whole lot of Israelites that that don't know what this thing about. They think it's about fashion. They <laughs> think it's about rap. They think it's about making Esau bow on the highways and hedges. No, it's about you getting your wicked ass together, man. 
That's what it's about. So the people are too many. Read. <clears throat> The people are yet too many. Right. Bring them down unto the water, and I will try them for the there. Right. The Lord is seeing who is who. Even Come. now. Come. Read. And it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, this shall go with thee. Mm -hmm. The same shall go with thee. Right. And whosoever I say unto thee, this shall not go with thee. The same shall not go. And the same is happening right now. The people are too many. The Lord is separating the two-thirds from the one-third. I'm telling you, it is a wide road within Israel. Yeah. Keep reading. Uh, verse 5. So he brought down the people unto the water. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto Gideon, Everyone that laugheth of the water with his tongue, as a dog... Lapis him shall thou set by himself. Mm -hmm. Likewise, everyone that boweth down upon his knees to drink, the number of them that lapeth putting their hand to their mouth were 300 men, but all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water. Right, he said, everyone that lapeth <laughs> of the water with his tongue as a dog lapeth, him shall thou set by himself. Right, you just, you just careless. It's a lot of people that think this thing is about fun. You see that? Just careless, not looking around, not understanding that we warn for our lives. You warn for your family. You warn for your wife. You warn for your brethren. They don't understand what this thing about. You're just going about, right? He says, uh, and everyone that bow upon, uh, and everyone that bow down upon his knees to drink, right? Just, man, so you gotta know that this is Salaki. You gotta know that this thing is, is about war. And you got it, you know, it, it, it's the way that people view this truth, some of it's off, and, and some people know what's going on, right? So give me, uh, so the Lord, he's, the people are too many. That's the point. Give me uh, Revelations 3 and 18. Revelations 3 and 18. Bring it out. I counsel thee to buy me. Give me 17. Me. Because thou sayest, I am rich. Right, and that's the mind state. Our people think that we good. They, We won't admit that we are not good. We're not good. We're not good. We are solely dependent on Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And without him, we will die, man. That And that's sake like humbleness. The brothers, how many brothers you thinking is true? Bow down. You know what I'm saying? Bow down and pray. You never hear that. You don't hear about that. All right, brother. Every brother needs to with him and his, and his family, you need to bow down on your knees and pray to the east. But you think these brothers, these prideful brothers, bowing down and actually praying to the east, being contrite, humbling themselves? No, they're saying, I'm good. Read it again. Because thou sayest, I am rich mm -hmm. and increased in goods, thou sayest, I need nothing. Mm -hmm. And know it's not that thou art wretched mm -hmm. and miserable mm -hmm. and poor and blind and naked. That's all real estate, man. But a brother will lift himself up and say, I'm good. I don't need nothing, man. And that's all true estate. That's a humble state, right? Give me Psalms 42 and verse 1, man. And ain't, it ain't nothing wrong with, with admitting that's, that's who you are. Give me that, Psalms 42. Psalms 42 Psalm. and 1. Bring it out. As the heart panteth after the water brooks, right? so panteth my soul after thee. Now, David said he was desperate, man. You know, I don't know I don't know about the next brother. The next brother might, that he might got it made. Like, we talk about this all the time between me and the brethren. Hey, a, a brother might have a plan B. A brother might, you know, and I ask brothers, hey, what happened? What, what you going to do if this truth don't work? Just to see. I, man, if, I don't, if, if, this, if, if this don't work, I will die. There is no plan B, man. So I'm desperate. Even David said, as great as David said, he said, read it again, Psalms 42 and 1. As the heart panted after the water brooks, right. so panted my soul after thee, okay? Man, I'm desperate for the most high, y'all. I don't know about y'all, man. And that's how you, that's a humble, that's a humble and low estate. That's how you have to be. Man, I ain't got nothing without this truth. I'm nothing without you, Yahweh, man. And that's, 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 that's the honest to God truth, right? Keep reading. Two, my soul thirsteth for Yahweh, for the living God, when shall I come right. and appear before God? Read on. My tears have been 
my meat day and night while they continually say unto me, where's thy God? Right. So give me, uh, you hear, give me Psalms 95 and 6. Psalms 95 and 6. Psalms 95 and 6. Bring it out. O come, let us worship and bow down. Hold on, read it again. O come, let us worship and bow down. Right. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker. Why, why you don't hear nothing about that? It's time to bow down and kneel to the east. Man, brother's not doing that, man. And, and it's crazy because the Ishmaelites, they don't have a problem. They'll bow in front of everybody. They'll bow and they'll get their mat. They, man, they love they God. Man, as soon as that damn thing get the ding, ding, hey, he come Ishmael with his damn, with his mat, he finna hop down and oh, local, 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 he gonna do it. They gonna bow down, the Chinese man gonna bow down to the dragon, he don't give it down. Right, you got the Indian man, he gonna bow down to Buddha. They don't, they love their God, but Israel, you don't see him bowing. Israel trying to set himself up, man. No, man, I don't, I don't really, my knees don't bend. I got a bad knee. Mm -hmm. I got a bad knee, right? Uh, give me, uh, give me, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 2, because I knew, I know somewhere somebody saying, you know, well, y'all show me, y'all show me prideful when y'all out on them highways and hedges to the white man. You know, they, they, they. so we got to address it. Go, what's your, you got a precept? No, you got the precept. So when it when it when it when it comes to being humble, we have to be humble amongst ourselves. But we we don't have to be humble to the white man. He deserves no reverence. The Chinese man deserves no honor. The African man does he don't deserve he don't deserve none of that. Right. So give me that Deuteronomy seven and two. Deuteronomy seven and two. Bring it up. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, right? Thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Read on. Thou shalt make no covenant with them. Uh -huh. and show mercy unto them. No show what? No show mercy unto them. So concerning these nations, Esau, the white man, right? Ham, the, the so-called African man, Elam, you know what I'm saying? Ammon, all these nations, thou shalt show no mercy unto them. Read. Neither shall thou make marriages. And hey, you him. definitely better not marry yo. You gotta look down upon them. This is the Lord looking down upon your enemies, whether anybody like it or anybody is indifferent about it. The Lord said, Look, look, you bet not marry that damn dog with your daughter. Read. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. Read. Nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. How the Lord say deal with him? Read verse five. Five. But thus shall ye deal with them. Read it again. But thus shall ye deal with them. Right. Ye shall destroy their altars. Uh huh. And break down their images. Uh huh. And cut down their groves and burn their graven images with fire. You're supposed to hate everything they stand for, man. Everything that they honor and stand for, you're supposed to burn it, break it down, get rid of it, and cast it away. That's how you deal with them, right? We gonna we gonna get some more precepts. Give me Job thirty and one. Judy, give me Job thirty and one. Okay. Y'all should give me Deuteronomy 14 and 21. David, give me Genesis 27 and 36. You hear it, give me Esther 3 and 1. Bring it out. Job, Job 30 and 1. Job 30 and 1. Right. But now, they that are younger than I have me in derision, uh -huh. whose fathers I would have disdained to set with those, the dogs of my flock. So your forefathers had more respect for their dogs than they had for Esau. They treated their dogs greater than they treated these certain men. And these nations know this. They treat their dogs, they, they treat their dogs better than you. You know what I'm saying? So there's a war going on and you can't act like we're all equal. If you kill a dog, you might get 10 years. Ask Michael Vick, kill a dog. If you kill a nigga, you might do you might get three years, uh, uh, do six months with good behavior. So they done flipped it on us. Now the curses is on us, but it used to be on them. We treated our animals better than we treated these Edomites. That's just in the Bible. Job just said, read verse uh, five. Verse five, they were driven forth among men. Right. They cried after them as a thief. Right, we shooed them out the earth, man, into the damn mountains. Read. 
to dwell in the cliffs and of the valleys uh -huh. and the caves of earth Read. And, of, and the rocks. Uh -huh. Among the bushes they graze. Uh -huh. Under the nettles they gather together. Read. They were children of fools. They were what? They were children of fools. This is how your forefathers looked at the Edomites. He said they were children of fools. Read. Uh, of base men. Yeah, children of base men. Read. They were viler than the earth. They were disgusting. They was the most disgusting people on the face of the earth. Your forefathers definitely wasn't under them. They didn't. They couldn't stand it to be around them, or even to have them around their animals, man. So when y'all need to be humble to the no, that's not what we're doing. Give me Deuteronomy fourteen and twenty-one, Yasha. Deuteronomy chapter fourteen, verse twenty-one. I'm gonna show you. The Lord showed us all things in His Bible. He taught us how to treat one another, and He taught us how to treat the enemy. Read. And if he be poor, right, and cannot get so much, then <clears throat> Salakia, then he shall take one lamb for a trespass offering to be weighed. 14 and 21. Deuteronomy 14 and 21. Oh, so up here. Listen up close, y'all. Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 21. Ye shall not eat of anything that dieth of itself. So the Lord said, anything that you found dead, don't eat it. Read it. Thou shalt give it unto the stranger that is in thy gate. That don't even seem fair. No, he not. said if you found if you found like a rabbit and it was decaying, David, you found like a squirrel and it you know it was kind of had maggots in it. You found like a lamb and it had flies and you know, don't eat it. Give it to the Edomite. <laughs> Keep reading. That <clears throat> read it from the top. Ye shall not eat of anything that dieth of itself. So the Lord is teaching us how to treat us our uh, uh, enemies. That's how they treat us. They sell you rats. They sell you cats. They you think you eating a Big Mac? You eating you eating somebody from uh, uh, somebody kidnapped daughter. Somebody kidnapped son. You go in there to McDonald's. You ordered the number five. You eating your brothers and your sisters, man. That's what they feeding you. There's a war going on, and our people just blinded to it. We say everybody's equal, and everybody got to hold hands and sing Kuba. No, they feeding you your brothers and your mothers and your sisters, man. They tell you that, though. Yeah, they I tell you that. They feeding you your own people, man, and you think that it's all good. So the Lord is teaching your people. He's teaching his people how to war. Don't be prideful amongst each other. But when it comes to these nations, you owe them nothing. Uh -huh. This is how you treat them. Give me 21 again. Ye shall not eat of anything that dieth of the soul. Right. Thou shalt give it unto the stranger that is in thy gates. Uh huh. That he may eat it. That he may eat it. Read. Or thou mayest sell it unto an alien. Hey, if you get a chance to make a profit, make a profit. The Lord is teaching you how to deal. Why you gotta you gotta be swift. You hear? You see the opportunity to make some money, make a profit off these Edomites. Hey, don't hesitate. You hear me? Don't hesitate. You hear me, David? You got to outsmart these people. Because after all, that's who Jake is, right? You got to be, you got to look, man. Give me, hold on, hold on. Give me, uh, give me Genesis 27 and 36, man. Genesis. So it was more on that, Yasha? Yeah. For thou art an holy people unto so the, the Lord, Lord thy said, God. You're not like them. They can eat it. You can sell it to them. But you holy. Read. Thou shalt not see if they kid in his mother's milk. Right, so give me that. Genesis 27 and 36. Genesis. Genesis chapter, this is my piece. Of, Genesis chapter 27 and verse 36. Read. And he said, it's not widely named for Jacob. For he has supplied me with these two times he took. Away my birthright. He did what? Took away my birthright. Yeah, every time Jake had a chance to trick Esau, he took it. <laughs> he took it. Your forefather, hey, they could, man. Look, man. Look, man. Stop trying to be equal to these people and understand that you're greater than them. Understand that the Lord made you, uh, he made you above all these nations. He made you smarter. You hear me? Grace, 
You smarter than these other nations. Judah, you swifter. Your spirit is created better, right? So every time you get ready to surplant, man, he, uh, when you go into it in a, in a definition, it means to uh, uh, pull down, to overtake, right? So every, he was just, he was, he was five steps faster than Esau. That's what, that's, that's who you are. Oh yeah, all right, you already know what he want. You already know how to get him. You know how to get what you want. Hey, that's why they, they had this, uh, they had this saying, the old Edomites. And they probably still think about us even to this day. They'll tell you, never trust a nigga. You see how Django moved on a movie? Mm -hmm. Man, he was five steps above, above everybody. Even the white man that was by him, he was, he was, he was five steps up past him. You see? So he, he did what he needed to do to, to get his woman. You know, I mean, to get what he, I, hey, same, same with Jake. He got that birthright right, and his mama was with him too. So we gotta be together as a people, man. So give me a- Just like Paul, he moved according to wisdom. Yeah, Paul, Paul. Paul knew, hey, he knew how to trick Edomites. He used it to his advantage when he needed to. Yeah, see, that, that's a great point. Give me uh, give me Esther. Who had Esther, three and one? Bring it out. Esther Listen to this, y'all. After Let these things, King Asarius promoted Haman, the Agite, right? the son of Hamadatha, and advanced him and set his throne above. So Haman was the Edomite. So Haman, these Edomites, they always, you're going to always find them at a high position because they crafty, right? So he had, he was below the king, but he had everybody else beneath him reap. And advanced him and set his throne above all the officials who were with him. Mm -hmm. And all the king's servants who were at the king's gate bowed down and paid homage to Haman. They did what? Bowed down and paid homage to Haman. So all these people bowed down to this white man and paid homage to him. Well, guess what? Read. For the king has so commanded concerning him, but Mordecai did not bow down nor but, pay homage. Right. Your forefathers, they, he didn't care. <laughs> he didn't care. He didn't care about that, and you got all the why y'all need to uh be humble when there's police out there. Y'all need to be careful. You need to not be so uh you know they want us to make things pretty, man. No man, the same spirit that was in our forefathers, that spirit is in man that walked the face of this earth today. And he, no matter what you say, those men are not gonna those men got the spirit of, of old, man. They not going to bow to Mordecai. They don't give a damn if it's a police officer. You got you got Israelites in this thing that treat, uh, damn, what's his name, a uh, uh, vocab better. They, they show vocab more respect than they do their own brothers. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll dog the hell out of their own brothers. Mm -hmm. Oh, nigga, you off you do do. But when it's, when it's vocab, they, they speak to this damn dog with respect. Mm -hmm. They give him honor, give him a platform, but your brother, he going off. And then two thirds of Man, they, they, look, man, we not giving these Edomites no respect, Come. right? So Mordecai's back on this earth, man. And that's how the Mosad told us to treat these nations. We not bowing down. We not showing no, re no reverence, no homage. We don't give a damn about them. But when it comes to our own brothers, man, we gonna be humble amongst one another, man. Give me that uh, Deuteronomy 28 and uh, uh, 54. Deuteronomy 28. Hey, give me that, Yasha, considering uh, uh, one another before yourself. What's that, that precept? Considering, uh, give, give me that, give me that, Judah. You talking about the Hebrews? Yeah. 1024? Yeah, give me that. Give me that, Judah. Okay. What is it? Deuteronomy 28, uh, 54. Okay. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother and toward his wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. But the point is, is that, that we were tender and delicate with one another. That's how we have to be towards one another. We got to prefer, you got to prefer others, you know, uh, as you got to treat others how you treat yourself, basically. Oh, esteem others higher than yourself. Right, Philippians 2 and 3. Give okay. me that real quick. Okay. Philippians 2 and 3. And give me, uh, give me numbers 12 and 3. 
Give me that. Give me that. Give me that, David. Numbers twelve and three. Uh, Grace, give me Exodus seven and one. Numbers chapter twelve, verse three. Now the man Moses was really meek above all the man which is upon the face of the earth. Why? So the Most High chose Moses just because of this. He was the most humble and most meek man on the face of the earth. So the whole thing about this is do you want to be great? That's the question. Do you want to be great? Do Who want to be great? Me. You want to be great, Judah? All right. So you got to be humble. You got to be meek. Give me Exodus 7 and 1. Did you want Excellent. Philippians? Yeah, I wanted Philippians 2 and 3. Bring it out. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. Bring it out. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. Like vain glory. You want to, you want, you want damn preeminence, man. You want to be exalted. You want people to look at you a certain way. Don't, that's not how you're supposed to be moved. But read. But in lowliness of mind. But what? But in lowliness of mind. Read. Let each esteem other better than themselves. You got it. That's how the Bible say do it. The Bible say esteem others better than yourself. You don't see this. So brothers is not running according to the race. And that's why there's going to be big uh, uh, damn rebellion in the wilderness. That's why it's going to be rebellion in the wilderness. Because the things that set up on this side of the earth is not going to be how it is once we get to the wilderness. So what? These, only the one third getting there. Only the one third is getting to the wilderness. So how is these men, women, and children that were righteous on this side, how then are they rebelling when we get to the to the wilderness? Because it was all of a side. No, it wasn't that. Oh, it what? wasn't. It wasn't that. Was it? They not gonna like the order mm -hmm. that's set up. It's not a when you when you go to the wilderness and this the dude all the way down at the end that you had read for you, you find <laughs> out that he's your leader. The man that you despise, you find out that just you were sitting in the seat. The man that everybody looked down upon, and he 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 way up there and you way down there. Wow. Are people not gonna like that? Uh -huh. they, that's why the rebellion gonna happen. The same way they spoke against Moses because he was the most meek and humble man on the earth. So just because you you meek and humble and people think they can run over you, that don't mean nothing. None of that mean nothing. And just because a man exalt himself and put himself high, that don't mean that don't mean that that's his seat that he's sitting in. It's a lot of men on this side that's sitting in other man's seats. Huh. And they're gonna be asked to get the hell up <laughs> go and to go the to back the back. The bus. <laughs> that's just the way it's gonna be, man. So give me uh give me Exodus. Yeah, I need Exodus 71. Right? So give me that again, David. Numbers 12 and 3. Numbers chapter 12 and verse 3. Bring it out. Now the man Moses was very meek, uh -huh. which men were upon the face of the earth. So Moses was the most humblest person upon the face of the whole earth. Imagine that. Give me Exodus 7 and 1. This is the, this is the thing, though. Exodus 7 and 1. Read. And the Lord said unto Moses. He said unto who? And the Lord said unto Moses. Read. See, I have made thee a God to Pharaoh. See, I have made thee what? See, I have made thee a God to Pharaoh. So the Lord took the most humblest man on the face of the earth and made him a God. You see that? And that's the, that's the whole thing about this. Give me uh, give me 1 Peter 5 and 6, Judah. Okay. Uh, Give me your hair. Give me Psalms 34 and 18. Is that 1 Peter 5 and mm -hmm. 6? 1 Peter 5 and 6. Bring it out. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, uh -huh. that he may exalt you in due time. We got to humble ourselves, man. Uh -huh. In due time, the Lord going to exalt you. Right, but... You got to do it. I'm going to tell you again, according to the race. You had a precept? Yeah. Bring it up. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 3 to 4. Read. You, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not make any graven image, age, or likeness of anything that's in heaven or above that is in the earth. Be, begin 
or that is in the under the water under the earth. That's right. Give me uh Psalms thirty four and eighteen. Psalms thirty four and eighteen. Bring it out. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. And that's what it is, man. We gotta understand that. Look, man, we ain't all that. We ain't all man, when you when you put on that facade that you all that, you gotta try to carry that shit. That's gotta be burdensome. Hey, I'm all that. You know, it's just like a, 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 a it makes me, rem reminds me of a woman who's only pretty when she put on her makeup. You know, when she take off that makeup and you see who she truly is, then you might not want her. So she got to put on this facade. She can't even sleep. And she's sleeping with her makeup on. She's sleeping with them eyelashes. She's sleeping, she got, you know, she can't put her, take off her booty and put it on the floor and get comfortable. <laughs> You know, when you're not around, she can take off her booty and put it on, you know, throw it on the side of the floor. She can throw it, she can take off her eyes, throw them on the floor. She can take off her nails, throw them on the side of the floor. You know what I'm saying? She can take off her makeup and be at rest, but you around all the time. So she got to keep, that's got to be tiresome. That's got to be burdensome, you know? <laughs> so you, you got to put on, hey, look, man. Hey, woe to him that got to put on a damn facade, man. So keep reading that. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Read it from the top. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. Right, just be yourself, man. Uh -huh. Be broken hearted, man. It's easy to be a nobody. That's simple. It's, it's difficult to damn try to make yourself somebody. The Lord is near to the broken hearted. That's who we are, shit. We, we ain't got nothing without this truth, man. Let it be known. Read. And say this such as be of a contrite spirit. A low spirit, you know what I'm saying? A contrite spirit, read. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, uh -huh. but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Right, we going through a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? We doing the best we can with what we got, right? So give me, uh, give me what I want. That's a beautiful precept. I love that precept. Give me uh, Sirach 51 and 16, Yasha. Sirach 51 and 16. Sirach chapter 51 and verse 16. Bring it out. <clears throat> Watch it. I bowed down my ear a little mm -hmm. and received her and got much learning. Man, that's crazy, man. Only thing you got to do is bow down yourself a little bit, and the Lord's going to give you a lot. He said, I bowed down my ear a little. And got much learning. Give me verse 18. Verse 18. For I purpose to do after her. And earnestly I followed that which is good. So shall I not be confounded. Give me 23. 23. Draw near unto me. Ye unlearn and dwell in the house of learning. That's a humble thing. You got it. Look man. We don't know much. We learn it every day man. You got to dwell in the house of learning man. It's, it's just a base. It's a base spot. We got to dwell here. Read, uh, give me verse 26. Verse 26. Put your neck under the yoke. Do what? Put your neck under the yoke. Humble yourself, Judah. Put your, your neck under the yoke of learning. You see what I'm saying? Humble yourself to wisdom. And it's okay that you to say that you don't know much because she's going to give you a lot. You know what I'm saying? Stop. You don't, you don't want to be like one of those ones that think they know everything. I tell brothers every day, man, I'm learning every day, man. I'm under the yoke of learning. I'm thirsting for this thing. Show me more, Lord. Show me more. Show me more. You had a precept? Yeah. Bring it out. It's book of Matthew, chapter 20 and verse 16. Bring it out. So the last shall be first. That's and right. And the first last. Right. For many be called, but few chosen. That's how it's going to go. Give me Luke 22 and 24. Let me show y'all something. Let me show you something. Luke 22 and 24. Luke 22 and verse 24. Bring it out, Judah. And there was also strife. There was what? There is also strife among them. Uh-huh. Which of them shall be accounted the greatest? Read it from the top. And there was also a strife among them. Which of them shall be accounted the greatest? That's what you hear in Israel today. There's a strike. Who got it right? Who got it wrong? Who's the greatest? Who's the least? Who's the best? Who's better? Who's the greatest? Keep reading. 
Read 25, Judas. Verse 25. And he said unto them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them. These are the things that the heathens are concerned with. Right? Read. And they that exercise authority upon them are called bene benefactors. Benefactors. Read. Yeah. But ye shall not be so. Read it again. But ye shall not be so. He said you shouldn't, it shouldn't be an argument about who the greatest is. Why are you arguing about who is the greatest? Read. Keep reading. Stay there, Judah. Okay. But, but ye shall not be so. But he that is greatest among you, uh -huh. let him be as the younger. Read. And he that is as chief as he th doth serve. Read on. For whether it is greater, he saith at me. But he that serveth. Right, he said, is, who was greater? The one that's sitting down being served or the one that's serving? So you got to decide. Would you rather sit down and be served or would you rather be the servant? Because the servant is greater. Read. It's more than I told you to keep reading. It's not he that sits at me. Right. But I am among you as he that serveth. Right, so you have to serve. That's a lowly. Uh, uh, that's a lowly spot. It ain't no brother in Israel. Well, I'm not going to say no brother, but show me a brother that's going to wash all the brother's feet. And then you're going to, oh, that's spiritual. No, that's physical, brother. That's physical. Let me see you wash each brother's feet. Oh, that's for a woman. No, Yahweh did it. That shows you how humble, how, how humble is that? To take a man's feet and wash them. And wash them. And wash them. Man, no, hey, man, they not even finna bow down to pray to the God of heaven and earth, man. Prideful ass niggas, man. They definitely not washing another brother's feet. And they definitely not gonna esteem another brother greatest. They're gonna look down upon you. That's what you see. This brother's not running the race how it's supposed to be ran. You know? And that's why all this bickering, all this arguing, all this confusion, but these niggas gonna get put under the rock in the wilderness, man. That's just what it is. Hold on. Give me James. Give me uh give me uh Mark Matthew 23 and 11. Matthew 23 and 11. Hold on. Give me Matthew 23 and 11. You hear it? Give me give me John 1 and 19. Right? Uh Grace, give me Philippians 2, 7 and 8. Yasha. Did I tell you to get one? Give me James uh, 4 and 1. All right, bring it out. Matthew 23 and verse 11. Bring it out. But he that is greatest among you. Read it again. But he that is greatest among you. What shall he be? Shall be your servant. So you got to serve. Your mind is not to be trying to rule. You see that? The Lord is saying... Rule, he says, sir, read. And whosoever shall exalt himself uh -huh. shall be obeyed. That's what's going to happen. Men that are exalting themselves on this side, on that side, they're going to be brought low. Read. And he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. That's how you be great. So give me a uh, precept. Me, uh, precept. Me too. Yeah. I have one. Bring it out. Bring it out. You got it. I got Cybrek, uh chapter 3. And... What's my spot? Cyrac chapter 3, 17 through 20. Bring it out. It says, my son, go on with thy business and meekness. Mm -hmm. So shall thou be beloved of them that is approved. Right. The greater thou art, the more humble thyself. You see that? And thou shalt find favor before the Lord. Many are in high places of the renown, but mm. mysteries are revealed unto the meek. Mm. For the power of the Lord is great, and he is honored of the lowly. That's beautiful. We got your precept, Grace. James 4 and 10. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. That's right. Now give me jump. You had one, David? Yeah. Bring I it have out. one, too. Hold on, we're getting one more, then we're going to move on. Ecclesiastes, Shilat, chapter 12. In verse 11. Bring it out. 
do he humble himself right and go crouching take yet take good and beware of him right and thou shalt be unto undo to him it as if do of him right so uh great precept david let me get this definition real quick it's called preeminence right preeminence so colossians i'm gonna give me uh i need that uh john 1 and 19. Okay. you got that let me look up uh preeminence real quick you know and all these things they they basic they fundamental and that's what we learn and we learn in the fun we're, we're i'm telling you i told you from the beginning now i'm showing you how to do it we digging down in the soil we getting rooted a lot of people they not even getting rooted they just shooting straight up they're not going to be able to abide when persecution comes when offense comes for the word sake but when you study these things you learn these things you're getting rooted you're getting all the way down in the soil okay what i need i need humbleness you know what i'm saying i need you know i need purity I need to not be a hypocrite. I need to get down in the soil, man. I, I need to get these things right. Right now, humbleness. You're not going to make it without humbleness. So, uh, brothers desire the preeminence, actually. So, that's Colossians 1, I believe, 18. We're going to get the definition of preeminence. That's why they was arguing, the point being, they was arguing over who was going to be the greatest. They wanted preeminence. Now, preeminence is a uh, preeminence. Strauss G, 4409. Pro tuo. Pro tuo. Right, preeminence means to be the first. Now, you can get the preeminence, but you're going to be the last if you get it. To hold the first place, right? To be first in rank or influence. To have preeminence. These men, they desire preeminence. So give me uh, John 1 and 19. I'm going to show you something. Now, there's a reason. You got to you, you be aware of everything. You got to be aware of even titles and names. You know, a lot of people want to get themselves a name or they want to, uh, 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 damn, they want to promote a brand, a title, a name. You got to be careful with that because when you, you get, I seen it, I see it. A brother will stop promoting the name of the Most High. Promote their own name. Mm -hmm. That's not the Most High you promoting. You promoting your own name, a label, a title. Uh -uh. I've seen it damn fifteen times on one video. <laughs> it just keep flashing the name, <laughs> the name, the name. I get it. I know who y'all is, man. I see it. You know what I mean? But give me this. Give me John one and nineteen. Bring it up. And this is the record of John. Right. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who art thou? Right. He said, make yourself a name. Now this, Yahweh Shah, that was said, it was no among men, ain't them greater. So you're going to have that because, you know, this truth will set you up in a spot where you can make, you can actually make yourself a name if you want to, Judy. You hear me? You see what I'm saying? So they did what? And this is the record of John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? Read. And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. I'm not he. I'm not him. Read. And they asked him, What then? You got brothers to be like, I'm him. That's where that comes from. I'm him. I'm he. You heard that, Judah? I'm him. I'm him. Yeah, I'm him. No, John said, I'm not he. I'm not him. Read verse uh, 20. And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. Read. And they asked him, what then? Art thou Elias? And he said, I am not. So I'm not even him, man. Read. Art thou thy prophet? And he answered, no. He said, man, stop. now you bothering me. <laughs> Read. Then said, then said they unto him, who art thou? They begging him. Come on, man. Come on, man. Exhort yourself, man. Just give us a little, man. Just, just tell us. Read. That we may give an answer to them that sent us. Right. Make yourself a reputation. 
Give us a name. Give us a title, man. Anything. You pro You a prophet? Are you a priest? Huh. Are you the, you that guy? What did he say? What sayest thou of thyself? He said what? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. He said, I ain't nothing but a voice, man. I ain't nothing. I ain't none of that. I'm just, I'm just a, I'm a humble man. I'm just telling you what the Most High, I'm telling you what the Most High told, sent me to do. I'm just a voice crying in the wilderness. Read. Make straight the way of the Lord. Repent or die. Uh -huh. <laughs> Repent or die. Right? So give me, uh, give me, give me, uh, First Corinthians. No, give me, uh, Matthew 11 and 11. Now, he could have made himself a title. He could have promoted himself, but he did. Give me Matthew 11 and 11. Matthew chapter 11, verse um, 11. Yeah, 11 and 11. Very, I say unto you, among them that are born of women that have not risen greater than John the... The Baptist. The Baptist. So you had certain men arguing about who's the greatest among themselves. But you had a man who said, I'm the least of all men, and he was actually the greatest. So I'm trying to, I'm showing you how the Bible, the Bible is clearly showing you. And if you got eyes to see, just look. You see the man great arguing about who's the greatest amongst them. You can see it. But you got a man that's taking, that's just taking a humble road. We should pattern our lives after John, man. We ain't nobody. We ain't nobody. Uh, you know, you come into this truth, you get a few views, you get a tube light, you know, now you think it's you. It's not you, man. <laughs> it's not you. It's the power of the most high that's on you that's drawing people to you. Recognize that. Because when he takes that from you, hey, you're gonna be who you always been. You know what I'm saying? So hold on before you you gotta preach up. I just wanted to add, or it could be it could be to your demise too. People don't consider that. Give me James 4 and 1. Give me that. Yeah, it could. It could. Uh, James chapter 4 and verse 1. Bring it out. From whence come wars and fightings among you? Strikes and arguments, debates. What what are what the reason for these wars within Israel? Read. Come they not hence, even of your lust that war in your members. You want something, man. You, you lusting over the preeminence. Lusting over the power. You want that number one spot, man. Read. Ye lust and you have not. Mm. Ye kill and you desire to have. You No matter what you do, you're never going to get it. Just like LeBron. LeBron is always, I'm the greatest. You will never hear um, Michael, Michael Jordan never say it. But LeBron always, I'm the GOAT. He's the self-proclaimed GOAT. Uh -huh. I'm the GOAT. Set I'm, himself up. Yeah, I'm the GOAT. He wanted. it. He want that top spot. He doing whatever he can to get that top spot, but it don't belong to him. Come on. Everybody know MJ the greatest. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know it, man. Even even Judah know it. You know MJ the greatest. Corn. You know LeBron is. Look, man. So read, read, <laughs> that, read that again. You know, I'm going to take a shot anytime I do. Give me J James 4 and 1. Did you want two again? Give me one. One. one okay. Two. From whence? Okay. From whence come wars and fightings among you? Right. Come they not hence, even of your lust that war in your members? Uh huh. Ye lust and you have not. Uh huh. Ye kill and ye desire to have, and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not. Uh huh. Because ye ask not. Ye ask and you receive not because ye ask a miss mm -hmm. that you may consume it upon your lust. Or you just want it for yourself, man. So give me Ezekiel 20 and uh, 34 and give me Matthew 28 and 16. Give me, uh, give me Ezekiel real quick. Let me show you something. Ezekiel what? 20 and 34. <laughs> Judah, mm -hmm. give me Matthew 20 and 18. You hear Give me Luke. 14 and 18. Ezekiel 20 and 34. Bring it up. I will bring you out from the people, and I will gather you out of the countries wherein you are scattered. So the Lord's going to come get us, the one-third. Hopefully, we the, we, we, we the one-third, right? So the Lord's going to come get us from this place, and he's going to take us back to the wilderness. Read. 
with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm. It's going to be mighty the way he come deliver us. Read about it in Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5. It's going to be immaculate. You think uh, the the uh, uh, when he came, got us out the wilderness in Egypt, or when he came, got us from Egypt, that is, is going to be nothing com compared to what's going to happen in, in Babylon the Great here in America. It's gonna go down. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna, man. They flying up in golden chariots, uh, and man, black man flying in the air, casting sparks and tempests. <laughs> it's gonna be on, and, 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 and diamonds and crustaceans and jewels that you never seen with mighty voices. Esau, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> There you go. Get him, Whose right? garment is dyed in? Yeah, blood and guts everywhere. You know, running like sparks. When you see a spark, it's here and it's gone. So it's going to be, you know, they got that flash off us. So he might grab an eat Edomite, disappear. Grab another Edomite, gone. Grab another Edomite, ripping their head. Blood going to be everywhere. It's going to be nice, man. Right? So keep reading. Um, verse, verse uh, 35. I will bring you into the wilderness. I think I was at 34. I will bring you out from among your people. I will gather you out of the countries wherein you are scattered. And with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out, I will bring you into the wilderness of the people. And there will I plead with you face to face. Read on. Like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness. Why? And they was murmuring in the wilderness and complaining against Moses. Yeah. About what Mo they didn't they didn't want to take, they didn't want to, they didn't even want to humble themselves into Moses. The Lord said he put the spirit on Moses on 70 men. So they, they didn't understand it then, and he was what? The most meek and humble man on the face of the earth. They didn't understand it then. They're not going to understand it now. Keep reading. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the people, and there will I plead with you face to face. Uh -huh. Like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. so will I plead with you, saith the Lord God. I will cause you to pass under the rod. And I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. Read. And I will purge out from among you the rebels. You gonna do what? I will pour, purge out from among you the rebels. That's the question. So who's rebelling? Somebody's rebelling. Yahweh Shah. Gonna tell you. Give me that. Yahweh Shah. They don't ever bring this out. Yahweh Shah told you who the rebels was in the wilderness. Everybody act like they don't know. You know who the rebels is. The give two me thirds, right? Get, no, get, watch the Yahweh Shah going to tell us. Give me Matthew 20 and 18. Give me that, you hear? Matthew, I have it. You got it? Yeah. Listen to the rebels. Listen. Matthew 20 and 18. Bring it out. Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall That's be... That's not... Give me 20 and 8, Salaki. 20 and 8? Okay. Yeah. 20 and 8. So when even was come... Even, that's when Yahweh Shah coming back, Right? The Lord of the vineyard step into his steward, call the laborers, and give them their their heir. Their, their hire. So give them their reward. Read. Their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. From the last unto the first. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't understand it. It's really not a blessing to be into this truth. Damn, 10 years, 15 years, 20, 20 years, 30, 30 years, 40 years. He said... His chosen gonna come in at the end. He told us that. They're gonna come in at the end. So those that he like he he favored, they coming in at the end. You know, imagine having to know what you know and remain in his truth 20, 30 years, man. Yeah. That's torture. It's a punishment. That's torture. Cause listen to it. When you sleep, time go by real fast, don't it? Mm -hmm. It go by real fast. So the Lord put the elect in a deep sleep. That time is going by real fast. But when you wake up, say it's something that you really want to do, like you in school. That last 30 minutes, don't it seem like it take four, hour, four hours? Yeah. Why does that last? That's how it, it can be. And it's truth. You've been in this truth 10, 20. You, man, that time is going so slow because you're watching it every year, every second. That's torture. That's torture. But you come in at the end, you awaken out this deep sleep, find out you were Israelite. And am you going to the kingdom? So it's the time of disposition. Disposition. It's a deep sleep. Okay. Calm. So uh, keep reading. Give me that Matthew. Give me that Judah. Okay. Matthew twenty eight. Read. 
But I think we're at nine. Give me nine. Okay. And when they came that were high that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. But when they first came, they supposed that they should receive more. So give me give me that, Yasha. Give me that. Start from uh eight. Matthew twenty and eight. Okay. Or if you got it, you hear it, give me it. Matthew 20 and 9? 20 and 8. I got it. So, go ahead. 20, 20 Matthew 8. 20 and 8. Read. Listen, y'all. So when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard said unto the steward, Call the laborers and give them their hire. From what? Beginning from last unto the first. From the last. So he's going to put the last first. Read. And when they came that were hired about the 11th hour. Yeah, almost. 12 o'clock at the end. Read. They received every man a penny. They got the same thing that the ones that have been in there at 1 o'clock got. Uh -huh. Read. Uh -huh. But when the first came. See? The first came. What? They supposed that they should have received more. How was he got what the hell I got? I did way more than him. I had 500,000 men under me. Uh -huh. I was in his troop 60 years. 60 this nigga was in the truth six months. <laughs> I got to be getting more than he get. So read it again. Verse 10. But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more. And they likewise received every man a penny. No, Yahweh Shah is going to set up a rulership different than what you think or can imagine. It's not the rulership of men. He's going to set it up how he wanted. Uh -huh. You're getting the same thing that... I gave them. I already told you that it was for a penny. Read. Verse 11. And when they had received it, they murmured they against... They did what? They murmured against the good man of the, the house. The wilderness being replayed over and over. Wow. Yahweh Shah telling you who the rebels are. They going to murmur against Yahweh Shah. So what he going to have to do? Keep reading. Hmm. Saying these last... Have wrought but one hour, mm -hmm. and thou hast made them equal unto us. They don't like that rulership in the wilderness. Hmm. This nigga used to read for me. I hmm. brought this nigga into the truth. You telling me? Wow. I'm King Kong in this bitch. That's wicked. You see? I brought this nigga in the truth. You telling me? No, man. See? Oh, I pray keep, to the most reading. high. He gonna set it up. Keep reading. Verse. Give me verse 12. Verse 12. Saying, these lads have wrought but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, mm. which have borne the burden and heat of the day. See, it's not always, it's not necessarily a good thing to be in this truth all that long time. They burden the heat of mm. the day. Yeah. They was afflicted for many days, man. Right. In this truth, man. Many years. Read. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Uh-huh. Didst not thou agree with me for a penny? Read on. Take that thine is and go thy way. Get out my face, man. Read. I will give unto this last even as unto thee. I'm going to do this my kingdom. Hmm. I'm going to set it up how I want to set it, not how you think it's supposed to be set up. Uh, Read. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with my own? Mm -hmm. Is thine eye evil? They always had an evil eye towards their brothers. Read. Because I am good. You see that? Read. So the last shall be first, uh -huh. and the first shall be last. For many be called, but few are chosen. Now give me Luke 14 and 8. That's so fire. That's, that's the parable. Of the wilderness. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was shot to. Luke 14 and 8. Bring it out. When thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, uh -huh. sift not down in the highest room. We all got bidden to this marriage. Don't try to exalt yourself. Read. Lest a more honorable, honorable man than thou be bidden of him. Why? Because uh -huh. there's men that's working... Not on the outer, but the inner. They're more honorable. They've been working on the things that matter to the Most High, not the things that matter to man. Read. And he that bade thee in him come and say to thee, 
Give this man place. Get out this brother's seat. Read. And thou begin with shame to take the lowest room. Damn, that's shameful. Wow. Damn. Man, that brother thought he was the one. Wow. Wow. Not all Israel watching. Read. But when thou art bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room. You hear that, Judah? Wow. Man, humble. Just don't try to put, you know what I mean? Just be cool. Read. That when, that when he bade thee cometh, he may say unto thee, friend, go up higher. Imagine that Yahweh Shah saying, what you doing way back there? <laughs> what, what are you doing, Ezekiel? Get, get up here, man. <laughs> Mary Magdalene, get your butt up here. What you doing, Sarah? Sarah. Sarah. Get, get, what, what, are you, what are you doing back there? What, get, get on up here. Right? Read. Then shalt thou have worship in the presence of them that sit and meet with thee. Right, because we don't know who everybody is right now. Huh? That's why you don't need to be respected as a person. Read. For whosoever exalted himself. Read it again. For whosoever exalted himself shall be abased. Uh-huh. And that and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. That we're going to say Shalom. 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 